Hey guys, welcome to Sokka's Tech Spot. In this video, we're going to mess around with my Raspberry Pi. I'm going to put heat sinks on the chips here, and potentially this one here, uh, to cool it off. And I'm going to overclock it a little bit to see how far I could take it without getting too destructive. Uh, I have an SD card right here, and this has Kodi on it, which is, uh, I guess it used to be XBMC, which is now Kodi. And that's just a multimedia center uh, operating system. You could go ahead and uh, Google that if you're interested. And these are really cool to use as a multimedia center because they they can do a lot uh, in a little package, and you could put these anywhere. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and clean off the chips first before putting these on because we want to have a nice clean surface to mount them without too much uh, debris or dust or whatever is on there. I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of um, dust off here and also rubbing alcohol and I'm using my q-tips to clean it all off and I'm gonna go ahead and put the heat sinks on first and then we'll tap into it and overclock it and I'll go over how to do that once we put these on so I got these on Amazon and you could check the link in the description if you're interested in also getting it for your Raspberry Pi and here's a little um, drawing of where these go on they come with the the heat sinks so for both models they tell you where to place them and it's pretty intuitive I mean it's not too difficult here and they come it's a bag in a bag so we've got a ziploc bag and a ziploc bag here let me open this up and there they are so ooh, that was interesting I think they're stuck together in some way but um here we go so cute look at them, the tiny little heat sinks so cute. So let me go ahead and clean this real quick. I'm going to go ahead and dust it off. Not that there's much dust. It was in an enclosure. This isn't 100% necessary. Maybe I'll do that one. I don't know. Still debating if I want to put it on there. And I'm just going to get a Q-tip, dip it in my rubbing alcohol here. This is just really cheap rubbing alcohol from the local Walgreens. I think I'm going to give it one more dust off, just in case, yeah, okay. So now, these have uh, pretty much double sided tape on them, and I'm going to go ahead and remove it, if I can remove it. I might need my knife, and, okay, I'm getting my knife, and I'm going to try to get this off with my knife without damaging the tape. I might cut this out if I can't do it, oh, there it goes, it comes off, oh, there, oh, okay. Let's go ahead. Hmm. Okay, there's one. I can zoom back in. Oh, that's zooming out. I can zoom back in. That's one of them. Looks pretty good. Let's get this other. It's always a pain to get these double-sided tape covers off. Oh, there it is. Okay. And there's that. And there we go. That is in. They're pretty solid, actually. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put it on. Uh, put it on like that. And I'll try not to have it touch the capacitor there. Yep. Oh crap, I didn't clean that one. Oh well. We're not worried about that one too much anyway. Maybe it'll be a more entertaining video if something happens with that. Anyways, so we have it on. We're going to move to the computer. Actually, I'm going to hook this up and then we're going to move to the computer. And uh, I'm not going to cut that out so you guys could stick around or you could fast forward if you want to skip the assembly of this thing. Completely up to you. So uh, it's really easy, it's going to take a second here. So uh, this is literally just going to be an HDMI cable that plugs into the side here. Okay. And Ethernet. The SD card. Uh, it goes like that. And last but not least, possibly the most important, oh, I gotta flip this thing around, is the power cable, which plugs in this corner here. Uh, let me, uh, how can I flip 
this. I'll just do it like that. And let me switch my inputs on the TV. So here we go. And it's booting up now. That's a good sign. Hey guys, I didn't get a chance to edit the overclocking portion of this project, but uh, I will have that out in the near future, so you could check the link in the description, or you could click on the video you see in front of you. If it is not up yet, uh, that just means I haven't gotten to it, but it'll be up in the very near future. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.